You sit. Good sit. Good sit. Arlo. Paw. 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 Good paw. Good boy. Hi, guys. Well, I'm home just like you all. And um, I'm here with Arlo. Arlo, can you look at the camera? Look. Arlo is our new puppy. Arlo, spin. And we've been working on tricks um, since we've had a lot of time in the house together. Um, Arlo, down. Good down. Good down. Good down. Arlo, dead. Good dead. Good dead. You want to do that again? Arlo. Oh, down. Down. Arlo. <laughs> hey. Hey. Down. Good boy. Dead. Good dead. Good boy. Um, so before Arlo, I had another dog, and he... Uh, he knew how to play dead too, but when Greta was born, I didn't want to play dead with the dog anymore because I was concerned that Greta would grow up thinking that dead things could just come back to life. Um, but actually, now I'm thinking about it and I'm realizing, you know, in the Bible, there are so many dead things that come back to life. And this morning, Arlo and I are going to tell you the story of Ezekiel and the dry bones that come to life and in order for Arlo to help me here we're gonna get his bag of dry bones which I've hidden and Arlo's gonna help me out by lying down nicely and eating one of the dry bones while I tell this story. Here you go Arlo, here's a dry bone for you. Good boy. All right. <laughs> So Ezekiel was a man who had a vision, which is like a dream, but he's awake. And Ezekiel sees himself uh, led by God to this valley of dry bones, a valley with layers and layers of dry bones. There's no sign of life anywhere. Can you close your eyes and see if you can see that dry valley filled with bones? Well, Ezekiel heard God say to him as he envisioned this valley of dried up bones, God said, do you think these bones can live again? And Ezekiel says, oh God, you know. Then God tells Ezekiel to start the prophecy, to start talking about the future. And as he does, God starts doing the work to bring the bones together and connect them and the the leg bone connects to the hip bone and the hip bone connects to the rib bone and the rib bone connects to the shoulder bone and on and on and the bones start to connect and come together and then flesh starts to cover the bones and muscles and blood starts to run through the flesh that's covering the bones and then God says to Ezekiel, keep prophesying, keep talking, keep talking about the future. And whoa, oh my gosh, the flesh covered bones are filled with the breath of God and they stand up and they breathe and they move and they're filled with new life. Today, things might seem pretty hard for some of you um, but I think we can all remember what the message here is. God makes good things come from bad, but God can't do it alone. Like Ezekiel, we need to do some work too. So right now we have to stay home and wash our hands and stay six feet away from others so we don't breathe on them. But remember, God is breathing on all of us and will bring us back to our feet and bring us all together again soon. Amen. Arlo, can you say amen? Amen.